What's up everybody, Sensei here. Welcome to the show. Welcome to another video. If you're living in the UK or Europe, look no further. Let E-Rod supply all your PEV needs. And let's get this video underway. So I set out on another adventure. And as you can see, bam. <laughs> oh my goodness. I didn't realize. I thought I had a little more room than I did. But hey, things happen. Tesla didn't hit the ground. I caught it, jumped back on it, and continued on my way. You know, I feel really comfortable riding uh, the Tesla on the street. I do. Sometimes I don't show it. You'll see me like riding in parks and things like that. But I feel comfortable on the street. One thing about Jersey is the roads are awful. I mean, full of potholes. Now, this area is not bad, but you get over onto some of the side streets, it's just insane. The amount of potholes and cracks and, and things, just a ton of imperfections in a road. But at the same time, I kind of like it. And I know that sounds crazy, but Riding here, it's always best to expect the unexpected. It keeps you on your toes so you don't get in a lackadaisical state of riding. You always got to be on the lookout for imperfections in a road. And I had stated that in a few videos back. But um, yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. But I'm getting used to it. And um, I'm just on my, my daily ride here. And this, there are two different days that you're going to see in this video. And as you can see, I thought that car was going to pull out. So I quickly glanced over my shoulder to the left, no cars, and just sort of, you know, made a little movement over to the left just in case that car was going to jump out. And even right here, I don't believe this SUV had its turn signal on. But these are things that, actually, I think they had the wrong one on. But, um, yeah, these are just different things where, you know, you just got to keep your awareness up while you're riding. But um, that's it. So I'm going to let you jam out to some tunes. I'll come back in a little bit later in the video and add a little bit more commentary because there's definitely something I want to say later in the video. So enjoy, and I'll check you all out later. Mm-hmm. 
This was really cool. I got to try out Kukit Robinson's V11, and that thing is so smooth. Now, the pedals are a little high. It would take a little bit getting used to, you know, just like any other new EUC that you get on. But it is like a Cadillac. Very smooth. So right here, I'm following Robinson. He's leading, and he just takes off like a bullet. And I'm already hitting the beats. I'm already hitting the beats. I'm at about 29, just about 30 miles an hour. Might as well say 29.9 miles an hour. So I'm pretty much at the limit of the Tesla. I think you can get a cutoff on a Tesla at about 31 to 32. But that just shows the power of that V11. That thing just took off like a rocket. Yeah, man, it was cool. And you can see him take off again right here and um, again I'm not even going to try to run them down there's no way that the uh, Tesla can keep up with the V11 and you can see he's just eating up the pavement right there man that just put a smile on my face to see him take off like that that was just awesome so I'm definitely going to have to upgrade to a faster wheel so i'm just trying to again look to see what's coming out uh, i don't want to jump too quick uh, on something because i know like right now there's still quite a few wheels that have to come out so i'm just gonna like i keep saying just ride this tesla out through the winter and then once spring comes i will get a new wheel now i might jump a little bit sooner depending on what's going on okay like if there's uh any events or anything coming up like that that i'm going to need a faster wheel then i will go ahead and, and purchase one but for right now i'm just going to uh, stick with the tesla mm -hmm.